Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. Um, I wanted to do this video for all those that have uh, sent me comments with regards to how intimidated they were about uh, making a journal. There's so many wonderful ladies out there that I know are itching to, to try it. Um, and they become intimidated when they see some of the details on the on the journals and they don't know where to begin. I just want to say I was I was that person not that long ago. Um, I'm displaying a few of my um, my earlier journals here just to give you an idea um, how things have progressed for me. Um, my earlier journals were very very simple, not as elaborate, but you know what? They're just as beautiful. So um, you don't have to be afraid to to try it. Once you know how to make the base of the journal, and I know there are, uh, again, I want to mention there are some great tutorials on how to make your base journal. Uh, Wendy Keenan of Lolly Dolly Crafts did a fantastic one from start to finish. Very informative. And in fact, that's where I first learned to make the base journal. So have a look at it. It's, it's not as uh, hard as you think. Once you've got that base, then you decide where you want to take your journal. Um, there are different styles. Uh, a lot of people like shabby chic. A lot of people like Victorian. A lot of people like the more modern style or the mixed media type um, journals. So I just wanted to show you a few of my earlier ones just to give you an idea what you can do. This one is called my Victorian Lady um, Journal. It's not very big, but as you can see, I've used like a, uh, a black and cream base, which is really outside of my comfort zone. I do prefer the, the more pastel colors, but I wanted to do something a little bit more Victorian. And as you can see, the cover is simple with uh, just a, um, a rosette in the corner. And what I've done is I've just used a little uh, brass frame with a Victorian lady, added a little bit of rhinestone uh, from a broken necklace to the corner with some buttons, a little pearl dangle here, and that's it. The, um, the first page, all it is is a, again, a picture of an, a Victorian lady, and um, she is pretty, uh, gorgeous dress, and um, all I've done is taken some pieces from uh, vintage doilies, cut them out, and framed the picture added a little bit of rosettes, a little bit of trim, a little bit of uh, a dangle here, and that's that's it. Pretty simple and plain. The next page um, is really the pocket page uh, taken from um, a, a piece of uh, fabric that I had that was already beaded, and I just added a, a, a little, uh, like a little post, little postcards of some Victorian ladies, and um, as you can see, once again, very plain, one layer of lace here, a little gold key in the middle, and that's it. That's that page. The next page, what makes this is really all the uh, the doily trim at the bottom, which is really pretty and unique. And then the picture, I've actually taken the time to do a little bit of hand-sewn beading on it, which um, I used to do quite a bit of before. And then just by taking little snippets here and there, embellishing the picture, you can see that my earlier pieces were not quite so dimensional. And <clears throat> it's just a learning experience. You have to kind of find your way as you go along. The next page again, it's just a series of flowers in the crochet, in the little satin, uh, little satin flowers with the pearls. Another little um, lace and tulle uh, little flower that I made here. You add a little bit, bit of interest with a little dangle in the in the uh, beads, and uh, and again just using little snippets of doilies all around. This page here, again, very, very simple, very, very easy, but pretty. Um, you, I just took a doily, for the, uh, covered the page in it, then took a little bit of applique here, added a little, um, like a little cameo um, uh, a brooch that I made. Um, I actually used a, a decoupage method there and just covered it with Mod Podge on this little um, plastic brassy uh, frame and use that uh, uh, on the center over a little bit of uh, like a little organza petaled flower here, some tassel, 
And that's it. And the last page um, is, again, a picture of a beautiful uh, two Victorian ladies just using some snippets, a flower in the corner, um, and a little bit of trim, a little bit of lace, and um, added a little bit of sparkle with this particular trim um, in a, uh, it's almost like a rosy rhinestone. And that's it. The back is just plain with a little bit of pearl trim. The spine is the little rosette flowers with the little uh, button in the, in the center. So that's my Victorian uh, lady journal. Like I said, very simple, but pretty. Um, the next one I have is, uh, this one's called uh, Viva La Romance um, journal. Uh, again, using, uh, I started to pick up on, on how to layer certain pieces. And again, with that beautiful uh, pleated trim, that's where I fell in love with using that pleated trim. And a little picture of a little sweet uh, boy and girl in the center, a little banner here uh, with the title of the journal. And then again, using um, layers of uh, lace flowers and uh, doilies and just adding little uh, doodads here and there, a little, a little key, uh, some lace, some um, seam binding and tassels, a little bling, and that's the cover. Now you'll see again how uh, a very flat, it, there's hardly any dimension to this book at all, but it's still one of my favorites. I still go back to it from time to time and, and just um, treasure it because it was fun to make. It, like I said, it was one of my earlier ones. And uh, just by using a, a little bit of lace to make a pocket here and a little banner that says L'Amour, a little bit of um, lace um, uh, doily here with some buttons, a little bit of dangle trim at the bottom, very simple. And then what I've done is I've actually segregated the pages by using this beautiful uh, vintage uh, linen doily here that just flips over. Um, this I've added a little bit more color to it. Again, a little cute little um, little couple, and uh, which says blessings here, and some avocado dyed and peachy colored uh, uh, lace um, flowers and just layered um, some appliques to give it a nice pretty finish and then I had this beautiful trim from a curtain that I used for the bottom. That's it. The next one, just to add a little bit of fun to it, I created this page using a, um, a doily, half a doily, and what I've done is I've used a little velcro and put it underneath a, a, a little flower feature here and with a button and if you flip it over it opens up the little page that says love and again it's got the cute little couple here and a little bit of wedding applique very simple using a doily in the middle this is an antique linen underneath and then using this um, this dangly cord uh, trim that I had uh, taken off a uh, curtain a little heart and then that just closes back up with a little velcro and then this page is, again, a cute little couple, some flowers, some vintage buttons, a little wedding applique for a little sparkle. And then here I've used an embellished little spool, <clears throat> excuse me, and a little crystal, little crystal dangle here, which just adds to the vintage look. And then this page, again, this is another pocket page. Uh, with a little banner that says Amore Mio and um, on this one again I used some wooden wooden beads um, to add to the uh, to the rustic uh, vintage uh, flavor and um, a little close close peg a little vintage close peg and a little postcard of a little couple uh, kissing each other I thought that was kind of cute and I've actually uh, printed that on fabric and then sewn it on to a cardboard piece so it's got it's got some substance to it and, it and it stands up nicely in the pocket. So that's that. And then again, the other side of that uh, linen doily. And the final page here has a little bit of sparkle, but again, very simple, a little couple here. And, um, and it says here, uh, being someone's first love may be great, 
but to be their last priceless. I really love that, so I added that. I used to do that a lot. I used to put a little uh, banner with some little thoughtful sayings uh, on each one um, because it, it just makes the journal a little bit more meaningful. And here I've just added uh, some little covered buttons over these little crocheted flowers. And the back, as you can see, is just um, a beautiful uh, antique linen that's been embroidered. And the spine, again, uh, little crocheted flowers with buttons. So not very dimensional at all. Um, it's, it is flat. Um, like I said, it's an earlier piece, but still pretty as ever, and I still, I still love it. The next one I have is, again, this is really pretty, very lacy, Forever Friends. Um, it's got a lot of lace in the pinks. And uh, as you can see, this is the, um, the uh, picture in the center of two little girls. Um, I think this was the very first one that I've actually experimented with adding some padding to the picture, some lace. I put a pretty little stick pin um, uh, in the corner there in the nice pearl. Uh, and added some dangle with little hearts and just layer and layer of, of lace. You can see how I'm starting to layer a little bit more, starting to venture out. Um, this is the, uh, the pocket page here. Uh, again, very, very pretty. Uh, some, um, some tool netting fabric here. I created a pocket. Uh, wedding dress applique, gorgeous little trims here, some dangle pearls, and then I added again a little postcard of two pretty little girls. Again, it's fabric on cardboard, and uh, just embellished it with these little uh, snippets of uh, leaves that I put on top of each other, and a little um, rhinestone uh, sequin on, on each corner with a little pretty bow. Again, very vintagey but pretty. And that's that page. The next page, a little bit more sparkle again. The, um, the, pleated, uh, the pleated trim here, a little bit more color, pink and creams, um, pearls everywhere, the doily underneath. Again, a little, uh, a little set of girls here. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little, th little things. And uh, as you can see, some pretty trim on the side. And that's that page. This page here, um, one of my favorite songs, uh, You've Got a Friend. What I did was I found the lyrics and I printed it on um, some pretty paper that had a little, little bit of musical, uh, musical sheet uh, theme with some flowers. And that's the lyrics to uh, You've Got a Friend and uh, added some appliques, a little ruffle, little bows, the covered button center on the reverse of the spine, and then it continues on to this page which is which says forever friend, I'm sorry, you are my sunshine, and um, again some handmade flowers, this is the uh, cheesecloth flowers that I experimented with, some bling, some pearls, just layering the, uh, the pieces of lace on top of each other, it gives it such a gorgeous look. So that's that page. Next page is a little bit more pink to this one. And True Friendship is a treasure, um, mostly in, in a, like a pink base. And again, the two little girls, some flowers. So you see, it's not very layered at all. It's just pretty to look at. And finally, another pocket page um, done in a, um, in a pretty fabric, embroidered fabric, and some lace trim, little flower bling here, little dangles with little pearls. So you can make it as interesting as you want just by, by adding little pieces like this. It really makes a difference. Little crystal here, and then the back you can really see the the beauty of the uh, of the pink lace in this one and all the little trims. The spine, I've just used the snippets from the uh, um, this uh, embroidered fabric that I had and then just use these little tiny covered buttons for it. And that's Forever Friends.